is all about food, food energy, and passion. Flavors Live is all about unique and exciting menu ideas. Flavors Live is our way of bringing the fun of food to you. Welcome to Flavors Live. I'm Terry Orman. We begin this month with breaking news. Food officials are telling us bacon is no longer just for breakfast anymore. Our Mark Egerding is live in the field with the latest on this developing story. Mark, what can you tell us? Thank you, Terry. Well, I am standing here in the pork capital of the world, Dubuque, Iowa, where they say the hogs like french fries go quicker in the summer. Thanks, Mark. We'll be sure to check back with you as soon as any more information becomes available. Bacon has a variety of applications. First, we're going to demonstrate bacon as a main ingredient in a BLT salad. Chef Marty standing by in our kitchen ready to show us this BLT salad using the bacon two ways for the price of one. First, as a cost-effective protein, and he'll use the drippings to flavor that special added crunch. Marty? Hey, thanks, Terry. We're going to begin with fresh tomatoes. To the fresh tomatoes, I'm going to add just a little bit of Rykoff section, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit plus a lot, because I love cracked black pepper, just a pinch of sea salt. Let's toss the tomatoes. I'm going to bring the tomatoes over to the hot grill. We'll color the tomatoes for just a few minutes to the skins have a nice color. Pull it off the grill and cool for assembly. Wow, they look beautiful. They have a nice smell. Good look. Look at the skins. A nice char. Okay, we'll put those aside. We'll hold those for service. We start with six pieces of Patuxent Farms Applewood Smoked Bacon. I'm just going to give it a very rough chop. We've also reserved the drippings from the bacon. I'm going to just pour a little bit of the dripping over our day old cubed French bread. Give it a light little toss and let that sit. Our, our salad is actually ready to assemble. Some chopped romaine lettuce, Cross Valley Farm, comes chopped, ready to use. Add that bacon. And this is gonna be a composed salad, meaning we're gonna to toss all the ingredients together. There's nothing worse than having a salad arrive at your table and have to mix the dressing in yourself. So here's the tomatoes. The bacon is in, the romaine is in, very simple. Ah, the bread has started to soften just a little bit, has a nice crunch to it with the bacon fat. And then how about a wedge or so at the end of our Glenview Farms uh, blue cheese dressing. I'm going to ladle just a little bit of Monarch Italian vinaigrette. This is made with extra virgin olive oil, so you're going to have that sweet peppery note from real extra virgin olive oil. Let's give it a toss. This is a great looking entree salad. You know, the average slice of bacon is about 12 cents. So if you use three slices of bacon, it's 36 cents for, for protein that goes into your salad. So here it is, it's ready for the customer to enjoy. It's composed, the dressing is tossed, all the ingredients are in, it has a great looking salad. You can hear that crispy bread tossing from side to side. I'm gonna put just a couple wedges of Glenview Farms blue cheese dressing. And there you have your BLT salad, composed. Put it on your menu, $12.95. Your cost is $2. So you saw a way to incorporate bacon into a lighter option. Now let's get good and hearty with the Patuxent Farms Applewood Smoked Bacon Wrapped Meatloaf. As Marty shows us, it's a perfect idea for your specials board, Marty. Thanks again, Terry. Well, you know what? This is a very simple dish. We begin our bacon wrapped meatloaf with sauteing or 
pan frying just a little bit of bacon. I've got some dark brown sugar. I'm gonna cook the bacon for about a minute or two on each side, and that's gonna be the topping to the meatloaf. It's gonna be so crispy at the end. It'll be delicious, it'll have a nice crunch to it. So let's let that go for just a couple minutes, and we'll get back to the ingredients for our meatloaf. We're gonna start with equal parts, ground pork and ground beef. Use any type of ground meat you would like, whether that's veal, whether it's game. To that, just a little bit of a cup or two or a half a cup or so of red bell pepper. Hey, say that three times. Uh, just a little bit of diced onion. We've got some Roselli imported Parmesan cheese. Our Monarch Cajun seasoning. Let's add all of that. As everybody knows, I like spicy ingredients. A little bit of Lee and Perrins or Worcestershire sauce. A couple eggs. Let's move around the dial here. Bring it together with some breadcrumbs. I'm going to put a half a cup or so of Glenview Farms whole milk. We're going to hold that barbecue sauce off to the side because that's going to be the topping for our meatloaf. So work the ingredients very well. We want to incorporate, make sure that each one of the ingredients are evenly dispersed throughout the meatloaf. This has a nice consistency to it. It's not too soft. Take your time. And once all your ingredients have been equally mixed throughout, we'll transfer the meatloaf into a roasting pan, top it with bacon and the barbecue sauce, and it's off to the oven. So let's just pull the pan forward here. And this is enough for two meatloafs here, so I'm gonna use just a portion here. And there's no right or wrong way to mold meatloaf. Any shape or size works. I'm just gonna create sort of a rectangular look. Pour the barbecue sauce right over top. Can never have enough. It's gonna smooth it out. It will continue to smooth out during cooking. Give our bacon a quick turn. We'll let that set for a minute or so until it's about 60% cooked and it will, it will cook the remainder of the time right on top of the meatloaf. So let's go ahead and shingle the bacon strips right on top of the meatloaf. Doesn't that look delicious? Man, look at that brown sugar. This is gonna be so crispy, it's gonna add such a nice texture to the finished product. So there you have it. Let's head off to the oven, about 350 degrees for one hour. Hey, it's about an hour later and look how beautiful this meatloaf is. I removed it from the oven in the pan. It's been sitting on a cutting board for about 10 minutes to allow the juices to rest and prepared for cutting. So, we'll just cut a couple slices of the meatloaf I've used an applewood smoked bacon. It's an inexpensive bacon. And the juices and the smoke really accentuate the meatloaf. So we'll take a center piece. We'll move it over to the board. And I'll start with about three ounces or so of Monarch Hickory Smoked Barbecue Sauce. I'm gonna move that slice of meatloaf to the plate. Look how beautiful that is. It's gonna sit perfectly. We've got a new mashed potato from the Monarch label. This is a frozen, boil in the bag, red skin potato. Very low price point. It's a multi-purpose, whether it's fish, chicken or beef, just a little bit on the plate. And then I love Brussels sprouts. I use some of the Rykoff Sexton olive oil, a little sea salt and black pepper. It was halved and roasted for about 30 minutes. A very simple meatloaf. Wrap it with bacon, intense flavor. Gives you a wonderful hard finish. Put that on your menu, $12.95. Your plate cost is under $3.
those are just two ideas, but the list is endless. Use it as a condiment for vegetables and starches, grind it into sausage or meat sauces for body and flavor. I'm sorry, we have breaking news. I understand our Mark Egerding is live in the field with more information. Mark, what can you tell us? I guess we're having technical difficulties, but however you slice it, our Patuxen Farms bacon won't let you down. For Flavors Live, I'm Terry Orman. See you next month.